Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Tanya Rivero, here in ABC News' Times Square studios. When it comes to buzzwords in the world of health, the latest craze seems to be probiotics. From yogurt to supplements, probiotics are being touted as the new key to general health. But do the benefits live up to the hype? Well, joining us to wade through fact and fiction is registered dietitian Ashley Kopp. Ashley, thanks for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. First off, if you could just explain what are probiotics? Absolutely. So in our digestive tract, the entire digestive tract, we're meant to have about 80% good bacteria, which is the probiotic, and about 20% bad bacteria. Um, what ends up happening is for a number of various reasons throughout our lives, we tend to lose out on the good bacteria. So what we're hearing today is all of the, when what science studies are showing us is all of the advantages of how do we bring back and get us to that 80% of the good bacteria. Again. So you're saying we need a balance of we do. good and bad. Yeah. Now, maybe start with yogurt because I know that that's a big one. Everyone, sees it's where that we on our you. minds go directly right. to, and also because yogurt is one of the natural forms of probiotics that um, we tend to eat readily in our diet. Some of the other ones we don't necessarily consume that mm -hmm. often. Um, but with yogurt, again, there's a lot of hype, um, and there's a lot of yogurts that, from a cost standpoint, have actually been adding the probiotic in there. And the question is, how much probiotic do they supply, and at what price point. Something like your Greek yogurt, I have the Chobani over right. here, um, that is, first of all, it tastes great, yeah, you know, definitely. fantastic, yeah. um, it's thick, it's rich, and it naturally has a lot of probiotic in there. What it doesn't have on this one is any added sugar. So the benefit there, it's very good Even for better. us, because one of the things that the bad bacteria does is it acts off of sugar. So it actually, that's actually more gas producing and it helps the, so if they feed put the bad sugar bacteria. So the product that can counteract the, the benefit oh, okay. of the good bacteria. So that's something we want to take a look look out for. Um, another one, you know, for example, a probiotic juice, but if I read the label on the probiotic juice, uh, one of the issues is, is that there's juice, 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 mm -hmm. and oh, maybe a little probiotic. Right, so that we don't need. Skip it. Skip it. You know, Eat your fruit with your yogurt. With your yogurt. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, Ashley, we're running we're out of